A-Level Chemistry Quick Test Video on Aromatic Chemistry. So the first question I've gone for is this one here. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So the first piece of evidence I've gone for is the one around bond lengths. So they're found by X-ray diffraction. All the carbon-carbon bonds in benzene were of equal length. The bond length was intermediate between the length of a carbon-carbon single bond and a carbon-carbon double bond. And therefore benzene has a regular hexagonal shape rather than an irregular hexagonal shape. The other piece of evidence is to do with enthalpy change of hydrogenation. So they thought that the enthalpy change of hydrogenation should be three times that of cyclohexane. You don't have to remember the actual numbers, but it would have been minus 360 kilojoules per mole had that been the case. When they measured it, it was found to be less exothermic than expected at minus 208 kilojoules per mole. Always a good idea to put the equations in for something like this. So there they are there. Your first equation is the hydrogenation of cyclohexene. So that's minus 120 kilojoules per mole. So you can see where that minus 360 comes from. And then the actual um, hydrogenation of benzene, you can see with the three moles of hydrogen to hydrogenate the three double bonds, that only comes out at minus 208. So because of this, benzene's more stable than expected. And therefore, scientists had to propose an alternative model for benzene, which is the delocalized model. The other question I've gone for is an unfamiliar reaction and mechanism for benzene, which is sometimes asked. So again, if you want to have a go at this, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So we've got an acyl chloride. So basically, all that's going to happen is the hydrogen will come off the benzene ring and will combine with the chlorine from the acyl chloride. This acyl group will go onto the benzene ring and will get hydrogen chloride as well. So there's the equation for that. The mechanism, so the first thing that happens is the acyl chloride and the catalyst combine and that generates the electrophile. So there's the equation for that. That's your electrophile there. The electrophile then reacts with the benzene ring. So we show that with a pair of electrons coming from the delocalized ring of pi electrons, the circle in other words, and that goes to the positively charged carbon. That generates an unstable intermediate. A couple of things to note here. The partial electron cloud that you draw covers five carbon atoms and needs to be open where the substitution is taking place. And don't forget your positive charge. And then it stabilizes itself by a pair of electrons coming from the carbon-hydrogen bond going back in to reform the delocalized ring of pi electrons. And obviously that's going to come off as an H+. So there we have that there. And then all we need to do now is reform the catalyst. So the H plus ion and the AlCl4 minus ion combine to reform the catalyst and HCl. And the name of that mechanism, which I would always include, electrophilic substitution. 